guys, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only. Today's video is going to be two simple questions to ask your partner if you are experiencing a different sexual desire from them. So by that, I mean that you might have a high desire um, and they might have a low desire. Or you might have a low desire and they have a high desire. So these are the types of questions you guys want to be asking each other. Um, Primarily the person who has high desire will ask this to the person who has low desire. If you're the person with low desire, these are questions that you can ask yourself that might help you be more open to having a conversation. Um, obviously, when our desire level isn't matching with our partner, which is so common, so normal, um, it can be frustrating for us, it can be frustrating for both partners on both ends, um, and so coming to a place where you can understand one, one another and understand each other better to help improve the desire so you guys are at the same level um, or around the same level can be very helpful. So I want to just give you guys these two question prompts to um, discuss with your partner uh, and hopefully they help. So the person with high desire is going to be wanting to ask these questions to the person with low desire. Um, and if you're the person with low desire, maybe ask these questions to yourself. It might help you kind of talk about it and figure it out in a way that's going to be less defensive and less um, accusatory and more open and easier to talk about. So if you're someone who has a high sexual desire and you feel like your partner isn't meeting you on that level, the first question that you want to ask them is on a scale of 1 to 10, how likely are you to want to have like to engage in a sexual activity. Um, so right now, on a scale of one to 10, how likely are you to wanna to engage in a sexual activity? The reason why this question helps is because it allows the person to kind of think about it themselves, you know, to, to digest that information. It's not like you're saying, why don't you wanna have sex with me? Or what's going on with you and da da da. You're just asking a very simple kind of indirect question, scale of one to 10, how likely are you to participate in a sexual activity right now? So that person might say that they are, you know, a two. And you can say, okay, great, like, that's awesome, you're a two. Um, and your second follow-up question to that is, why didn't you rate yourself a one, right? Or why didn't you rate yourself a zero? And what that does is it allows the person, using their own words, to explain potentially what some of their brakes are and what some of their accelerators are. And if you don't know what I mean by accelerators and brakes, Check out my video on how to increase your sexual desire. Um, I will include it in the link below. I talk all about accelerators, breaks, and contacts, which is so important for um, kind of helping navigate these really tricky issues and dynamics. Um, but yeah, what that question is going to prompt them to, to do is in their own words, they're going to say, well, you know, I didn't give it a one because the other day you came downstairs shirtless after you just folded my laundry and you were making a cup of coffee for me and it really turned me on and like that's why I would say I'm not a zero because in that moment there I was prepared to have a sexual experience with you. Um, and so what that person has done is not only have they told you, uh, you know, what some of accelerators are, but they also gave you a clue into what some of their breaks may be. So you as the partner with high desire can then understand like, okay, this person gets turned on when I help them out with chores that they have to do because maybe they're stressed and they have a lot on their mind and me folding and doing their laundry for them and making them a cup of coffee shows them that I love and care about them and gets them in the mood. And also an accelerator for them is when I'm shirtless. They find me attractive and they want to have sex with me and they want to, you know, do sexual activities with me. And so as a partner, if I'm going to try to increase my other partner's sexual desire and make it more likely for them to want to, you know, have sexual encounters with me, I'm going to work on reducing their stress, doing things around the house that can help them feel, you know, taken care of, while also maybe walking around with my shirt off a little bit more often. So as you see, like that conversation, it wasn't defensive, it wasn't blamey, um, it was really open and easy, and it was kind of just like a question that allowed that person to describe to themselves what they actually needed. Um, so the follow-up to that is you could say, well, Ali, what happens if they say I'm a zero, right? So if you say, hey, on a scale of one to 10, how likely are you to want to have a sexual experience with me? And they say I'm a zero. Um, the follow-up question to that one is like, okay, well, what could we do to get you to a one? And again, it comes from a place that's non-judgmental um, and it allows that person to articulate so they could say, you know, I'm just really stressed out. I have a lot of laundry I have to do. Um, the coffee machine's never working for me in the morning. I'm always late to work. I'm frazzled. I'm frustrated. And you only want to have sex with me in the mornings and I just don't have time in the mornings because I have to do all this stuff. 
right? And so again, that person has articulated to you a bunch of their breaks that you can then work to, you know, relieve and take the foot off and, and take some of those breaks away so that they could be open to having a sexual experience with you. So those are two questions that you can ask your partner. Um, if you're the person with low desire, maybe ask yourself those things. It might feel a little bit less like, hey, I'm broken, something's wrong with me. It's just gonna help you kind of articulate better to yourself so you can articulate to your partner what you need. Um, and just know that it's totally normal to have different desires. Um, also, throughout the course of your relationship, your desires are going to go up and down so many times for a variety of reasons. It's so normal, you are not alone. Um, and I have tons of content on this channel. Just look at our sex and relationships playlist um, on how to help increase desire, um, how to communicate what you want in the bedroom, how to have better orgasms, how to have conscious sex, how to be, you know, more present during sex. So all these types of tools and tricks that you can use to help enhance your sex life. Um, definitely check that out. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because that really helps this channel. Uh, also give us a follow on Instagram at CVO Wellness. Share it with a friend. We have tons of tips and advice on there um, about sex and how to have better sex and how to have better relationships and how to have better masturbation. Um, so tons of really great resources and tips on there. And we will see you guys for another video shortly.